What's up, yo? Can you guys hear me? Let me uh, pull up this uh, YouTube link real quick. How you guys doing? Everyone good? Just give me a minute to uh, set up real quick. What's up, y'all? My name is D Styles. Is is my like my my like <clears throat> my mic too loud? Should I turn it up down? Please let me know. Is the beat too loud? Uh, I just want to kind of dial this in real quick. How's that sound? Thumbs up, thumbs down. Oh crap. I got this janky ass uh, mic thing. So I gotta buy a, a real uh, mic stand. So sorry if this thing <laughs> falls down. Alright guys, welcome to Homeroom. My name is D Styles. Uh, this is going to be a one hour uh, scratch lesson and uh, I've broken it up into beginner, intermediate, and then to advanced. So just uh, try to keep up. Um, before we start, you can use a CDJ controller, turntable, portable, whatever you have. But the best um, configuration is if you have one of those one eighth out to RCA, you want to take that from your uh, laptop and connect it to the line of your mixer or your uh, session in. So this is what it looks like. If you got one of these guys to the RCA, plug that into the headphone out of your laptop. And then the RCA goes into the, the line in or your session in on your mixer. You got that. Everybody set up? So, I'm using the ah and the fresh sound, so you can use any record or any sample. Um, but if you want to do these exercises, these drills, use the ah or the fresh sound, and I'll call it out. Uh, generally, I always mark my sound at 12 o'clock. So this ah starts at 12, and it goes all the way to 6. If you want to look at it like a clock, right? From 12 to 6. Okay. Once again. 
again, the sound starts at 12, all the way to 6. Top of the sound is at 12. Alright, so I'm just going to start out, we're going to do a little uh, follow the leader for my beginner students. Um, just keep keep up, I'm going to do all the basic scratches that uh, a lot of you guys already know, and then I'll ramp up to intermediate and to advanced. So let me change the beat. Can you guys hear that all right? Let me try it out. All right. All right, here we go. Those are just releases. Go. Go. stabs now with the fader. Three. One, two, three. Three releases. One, two, three. Those are stab releases. go a little faster. Five, six, seven. One, two, three. 
three, four, five, six, seven. Guys, we're gonna we're gonna do chirps now, right? Go. Chirps. Nice clean chirps. faster. a little faster now. Transforms. Yep. Transforming. All right, we're going to speed it up a little bit more with three. Four, three back, transform. Nice. A little faster. Three back transform. One more time. Yep. All right. One more time. Guys, we're gonna do tears now. Tear scratch. One forward, two back. One forward, two back. One forward, two 
back. Four, two back. Now we're going to do two forward, two back. Jump to the one click flare, alright? This is more for in intermediate now. Uh, intermediate to advanced. So I'm gonna ramp up a little bit. One click flare. You guys know how to do this already, right? Here we go. Alright, here we go. One click flare. to two click flares now, right? that gap. Six. 
three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One more time. Even quicker now. Oh man, I messed up. <laughs> My bad. Hold on. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Release. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Release. Was that guys was that uh, was that easy to keep up with um too easy should i have been more advanced please let me know uh in the comments um but yeah that's like kind of how i warm up if i just want to run through scratch drills scratch um vocabulary uh, i didn't get too crazy as far as like all the advanced stuff but that's sort of uh, the alphabet that uh, a lot of us scratchers use uh all those elementary um basic scratches that we use to build other combos with. Um, so what I want to talk about today is um, record control. And I get asked a lot about record control, what is more important, uh, the fader hand or the record um, hand. And in my opinion, uh, the record hand, because that's your voice. That's where your sound is coming from. Um, the record control is everything because that's how you're able to, to, to talk, to have lyricism in your scratching. And uh, to me, that's, just, that's the goal I think all of us should strive for. You know what I mean? When you, when you scratch, you want to approach it like, like you're giving a speech. You know what I mean? You want to pace yourself. You want to give punctuation, pauses, and you want it to build up, ramp up. It's almost like telling a joke, you know what I mean? You have a punchline, but it builds up to that. So this all comes down to record control. Um, it's everything. And if you can work towards mastering that, you're going you're gonna to have, you're going to notice that you're going to have so much uh, to offer when you scratch. So I got some uh, record control drills that we can do. Um, and we're going to start very basic with the stabs, going to chirps, transforming, uh, one click, two click flares. Basically what we did in our warm up, but we're gonna apply it now with record control. Um, and we're gonna do low to high, and then go from high to low. And I'll give you an example. So these are stabs. Low to high, one, two, three, four, five. Low to high, right? And then high to low. And what I'm doing is I'm pushing the record. So I'm going slow with less record movement. Right? Low to high. This is what it sounds like without the fader. Right? Except that when I use a fader now and I'm doing the stab releases, it's just... And then high to low. All right. So I'm going to play a beat. And you guys copy me, OK? The same concept that we were doing earlier with the scratch drills. But this is record control drills, all right? Let me change the beat. You guys still with me? This is weird, because I feel like I'm talking to myself, you know?
Can you guys hear that all right? So you guys can have the platter on or off. It's up to you, whatever you feel more comfortable. I like scratching with the platter off. I feel like I have more control with the sound. Uh, but you should try both, see what feels uh, better, you know what I'm saying? And here we go. Go, one, two, three, four. Now instead of stabs, 
we're gonna do chirps, right? Low to high, high to low, but with chirps now. It sounds like this. without the freedom. So now, instead of doing chirps, let's do transforms. Same concept, low to high, high to low, but now we're transforming. And here we go. Five, six, seven. Jump to the one click flare now, right? Low to high, high to low, same concept. One click flare forward, one click flare, one click flare back. And here we go. Low to high, one click flare. Low to high, one click. 
Click Flare. It's too high to low. High to low, one click flare. Here's what it sounds like without the fear. High to low. Now with the fear. Notice when I'm going for the high pitch from the high, the very high, I'm using a lot of record movement. It's going from like 12 to like 5 as, as far as the clock. And when I'm going low, I'm using minimal record movement. Just 12 to 1. For the higher pitches, I'm using way more record movement. Just, just want to make a uh, note of that, guys, okay? So now let's jump to the two-click flare. Same concept, low to high, high to low. Serato uh, just crashed, so let me reboot. Sorry guys, uh, I'm just letting this reboot real quick because it crashed, beat stopped. And we're back. And we're back. We're back. We're going to continue with the two-click flare, low to high, high to low. Can you guys hear all right? Everything cool? I'm going to stop after this for some questions, so bear with me. Let's 
called Lower High. so let's do this now i'm gonna go low to high high to low and connect it so it's, instead of sc scratching for uh one bar we're gonna go two bars each okay and here we go All right, guys, I'm going to pause right here. Uh, let me check out this um, comment stuff. And if you guys have any questions, I'll try to answer them as best as I can. Any questions? <laughs> uh, 
Uh, yeah, you know, you could look at it like a, a roller coaster, actually, because it's up and down. And um, I like I like using that in, in my scratch solos just because it creates this tension and release. And, uh, you know, like it's just not a very flat line monotone sound. Uh, it kind of gives you range. And so low to high, high to low. Very important. It, it helps with your record control. And um, I love practicing that because uh, you can never have... Um, you know, you can always improve on record control. How's everyone doing? Is everyone doing all right, man? Trying to be safe and all that. You guys eating good? You guys going out to eat? Going through drive throughs just cooking at home? Crazy times, right? I just want to shout out my whole crew, Beat Junkies. Um... We're going to post our schedule for this coming week. Uh, we're going to um, figure that out real soon, start promoting that, so you guys can uh, train online with us on YouTube, and we can keep doing this and get through all this stuff. So, um, so let me see. There is a difference between, well, first of all, there is a difference between transforming and flares. Uh, transforming, the fader, the, the fader is closed when you start, and you're just opening it and closing it for every sound. So if you're doing three clicks forward, three clicks back, it's starting closed, and then you're opening it three times, closing the fader, and then coming back and opening it three times and the fader's closed. With flares, it's the total opposite. You're starting open, and when you want to get that orbit sound, you're ending open as well. So, fader's open. I'm going to close it and open it three times. You, and when you, when you do that, you get four sounds. One, two, three, four. And that's the difference, starting with the fader closed versus starting with the fader open. Closed would make it a transform. Open makes it a flare. And when you want to get it as an orbit, as a rolling sound, you you reopen it. You don't close it after. And that's the, the difference. All right, guys. So let's do this real quick. Let's do a, a question and answer where I'm going to scratch. Uh, for four bars, I guess. And then you guys cut for four bars with me. And it's just a freestyle. Do whatever you want. Um, I'll start out real real simple, and then I'll try to get more complex. And uh, we'll go from there. Let's try a fast beat, all right? You guys cool with fast beats? Here we go.
Damn, the beat keeps stopping. Hold up. Sorry, guys. Serato uh, has crashed, I think. Um, you guys have any more questions? This, this kind of wraps it up. I, I wanted to keep cutting, but I think I have to restart my computer. My bad. I apologize. Um, but thank you, guys. This is Homeroom. My name is D Styles. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, I know I said intermediate to advanced. I didn't really do any advanced stuff. Um, I felt like I needed to start more towards the beginner intermediate and ramp up and I'm going to be doing this more often so uh, look out because in the next um, few days or weeks ooh, just came back all right real quick all right I just want to end it like that sorry Thank you guys. Shout out to my crew, the B Junkies, Redmatic, Mellow D, Babu, Mr. Chalk, J Rock, Shortcut. Shout out to our entire staff and team at the B Junkie Institute of Sound, our school in, in Glendale, California. Silos, Maricel, Sammy G. Shout out to Most Serious behind the cameras. Um, and don't forget, guys, we have. Uh, a sale going on right now. If you join our record pool uh, for one year, you get one year of bjunkies.tv, which is um, over 350 video lessons um, of scratching, trick mixing, um, foundation to DJing, be juggling, our, our podcasts. Um, so thank you guys. I really appreciate you guys tuning in, and I'll talk to you guys soon. This is my pug right here, Zeus, and this is Zanae. And take care, guys. Be safe. Thank you. <laughs>